Hi guys, this is I'm back with Expanse Season 4, Episode 2 called Jetsam. Not really sure what that word means, but I guess we'll find out. I thought that this season did a great job setting up the story to come. I just, I don't know, I love the feel of the episode. It just flowed very well. I was intrigued by the story. I loved seeing all the characters and... Especially, as I said, the Nomi taking her first few steps on a planet. That was awesome. But there's something else there, something that attacked them. And it looked like some kind of flying little weapons. At first I thought it was bugs, but I don't know. I think they're being targeted. I think that's what happened to the ship that crashed. But we shall see, guys. I'm super intrigued to find out. So let's get started with this episode. Yeah, I still need to figure out what's going on with Bobby's story. I want to know where her story is going. She's with um, some family. That's cool. And I love her and Alex's relationship. My cat's attacking me. Yeah, here. What? We reach out, reach out, and reach out. The voice sounds so weird. That looks cool, though. Hmm. So we got here. Say, like, investigating different things in the circle? He needed a ride there, and he's like, thanks for the ride. So what's it exactly is he looking for? Back the sense log, see if you can trace where I guess is maybe what attacked the civilization, that's what he wants location. to find out. To us, this looks like a machine, but on this planet, it could be an organism. Huh. Looks like the inside of the ring so is it kind of alive, even that's though it looks like a weapon? Tech. Wow. That's a lot of bodies. He literally did the same thing he did last episode. Can't you go and lie down, buddy? What are you doing? Come like a old old poor being a gay yell. How sorry. That's so many bodies. What the hell? Regional flight control lost track of it a month ago. Wow. Uh, those colony ships uh, are packed with supplies. Fat, pirates easy then? Prey. Pirates did that? It'll support your position that going through the rings is too dangerous. Sometimes I fucking hate being <laughs> right. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, she doesn't want any of them to be hurt. You're very good in those boots, man. So she's I in had a good teacher. Space? Yeah, yeah, I remember that moment. Okay, that was awesome. She was so I excited and Bobby was so proud. Oh. It looks fancy as hell. I like those chairs. Wow, that looks so epic. Magnetosphere. You're such a romantic. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the view. They made their own clouds. That's Brings impressive. to mind the people who built the great Gothic cathedral. I like the things you see better than the ones I do. Just <laughs> looking up. Do we know this character? Like, did they change the actor? Yeah, I was recast. That's what I thought, because I'm like, I know the name Arjun, but like, he didn't look the same guy. They recast him, okay. He's probably in trouble right now. Shit. The file says you were directly involved in the deaths of two members of your marine fire team. Ugh, yeah, I mean, it was to save a whole There's bunch a of people. Bad story, but I'm betting you don't care. Yeah, and they also trained me to snap necks. But I haven't done either of those things. Oh my since gosh, you're not like making your case by saying that. Like, <laughs> having dinner with the UN Secretary General is quite an honor for a Martian dock worker. Dang, she wants to have dinner with you. Yeah, I want to see that dinner. You see, I scrap those bloody ships every day for Mars. All right, you can go. Yeah. You're like really dedicated to Mars. So fuck this lady. But I think you did prove to her. This is just how. Demolition tech, third class draper. They don't deserve you, Bobby. What do we need to do? I like her. Nice hat, Alex. I haven't really seen you wear one before. Is it cold there? I think someone blew up this pad. Yeah, seems like it. Dang. You know how belt is up. If they can't use it, it doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah. You've got us totally figured out. Oh. 
She didn't know she's a belter? Or what What was that? Look. There's been a lot of people here. Look at those footprints. So cool. I want to get me one of those. Those things look crazy. It's like a ship. It has to be some kind of ship. Uh, I don't actually know. They said it extended really deep, so... Then I grew. Radioisotope dating puts this structure at approximately 1.5 billion years old. Holy mama. It's been there a long You don't see how strange that is? When it landed here, it would have killed everything it touched. So evolution on this planet would have had to start over. Yeah, shit, that's true. Three biomes then. Three? Whatever made the proto molecule, the local biosphere, and now us. That's a lot of interacting systems. There's no way to tell how they'll mix. Yeah, it's really hard. You can't even really predict it, can you? What were you expecting? From Miller to Papa being like, hey. No idea. Good on you, we don't know about the bug. He has like such a similar look to what he has in yeah. the Vikings, except more tats. I wouldn't say no, thanks. <laughs> well, we are here to help. I'm actually starting to believe that. Nice. Nice. We're already making some connections. I like when I do that. They are so. <laughs> yeah. Well. I could really use it. You gonna ask her out? I think you could too. I just said the boost is terrible. This is Jacob, my husband, and our daughter Felsi. Awkward. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Same. Oh, no Alex was like. I think he was putting the mood. Yes, we a lucky one. I have always wondered if Alex and Amos ever get lonely, like, because yeah. Naomi and Holden have each other. Amos seems like pretty like much like he doesn't really need anyone, but Alex, he was a family man. You he had a family. He might be lonely. We will not be intimidated. Either they pay for this, or you all will. Seriously, it's not good to threaten everyone. They helped you like with your medical needs. Amos, I think he has some thoughts about this. He's always like calm, so it's hard to read. Friend but left. We can review your plans to partition the new worlds beyond the Man, Christian, it's you a look complex awesome. situation. Some people believe that carving up the map at this stage is premature. Mm -hmm. The Belters don't seem to think I so. I still love when Amos is like, so what's she wearing? Because that's be every episode when, when I think about Christian. Hey, okay. we're getting it this episode. I have an invitation. You've been flagged for additional screening. I'll handle this. She's a personal guest of the Secretary General. Yeah, screw you. Seriously, profiling her because she's a Martian. Way. You look good, Bobby. Clean up nice. Right here. Please tell me it's right next you. to Christian. Thank Please. You. Hi, I'm Bobby. <sighs> Uptight assholes, fuck them. She saved so many people by turning on her own. No respect. I have wanted to meet you for such a long time to thank you in person for saving my Christian's life. What's the other dude? And yeah. we're speaking like that a lot of chemistry. If you married Christian, you're a hell of a lot braver than I am. <laughs> 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 <Nice. laughs> oh, you're so far away from us. I want you to have a conversation. My dear friend, with, uh, Admiral Michael Sardo once. How was it? <laughs> Terrifying. That's a good shot. Exhausting. How are you feeling? <laughs> Something's not right. <laughs> Having a heart attack? What's going on? Passed out. Oh shit, no me. You need to be more careful. Your heart just ain't as strong as it needs to be in this gravity. Plain and simple, you gotta slow down, take things easier. If you don't, you're gonna have palpitations, and eventually your heart, it's... I'll get through it. Now don't say anything to Holden. take it easy, man. He'll overreact. He's got enough on his mind already. Please. Don't. I feel like Holden should know, just so he doesn't push you, or... without knowing, you know? I don't know, nobody tell me I had so much mascara all over my eyelid. Gosh, so... <laughs> I'm a mess. Did one of those 4.30 a.m. shifts, so... Bling. 
Marco Inaros. Inaros? How well do you know him? Only by reputation. Naomi said you knew what he did to her. <sighs> She's one of the smartest people I've ever met. What did he do to her? How did Marco Inaros get his hooks in her? Ah, he's charismatic. He's, he's uh, uncompromising. He's uh, very dangerous. Wait, is this leading to oh Nomi's son? Spell. I'll reach out to Fred Johnson. It'll take a big bounty to bring this one in. Dang, that seems intense. Like a fight's about to happen. Ooh, is he excited about that? <laughs> Not even a goodbye. Eee! You were busy. It was humiliating. I wasn't trying to embarrass you. I wanted to see I you. had no place at the table. To show the rest of the idiots in that room that you still have friends in high places. All they saw was Earth calling its lapdog to heal. Hmm. I need a hug between them. I need Christian to Come and work us. for me. Oh. What? Fuck these people. If they don't see how glorious you are, they don't deserve you. Uh, I don't need you to save me. You don't owe me this. She doesn't want to save you. She wants Good you Good night, ma'am. Oh, Christian, I understand your intentions. And you're right, they don't deserve her. Not at all. <laughs> that duo is what I miss a lot about season three. Because they were so great together. Stop it! Hmm. Something's pushing him. Huh. So what do we got here? Okay. So there's a core down there. We're all going. No. Actually, uh, I'd feel a hell of a lot better if uh, someone stayed at the Rossi, watched our asses in case we need backup. You okay with that? Yeah. I'll look after you, boys. Yeah, good looking out, Alex. He's like, Owen said. All right, well, Holden and I are going Sweet. on the mission. And then a couple of shots, I see. Nice. Yo. You're paying with bullets. Yeah, they're pretty useful. <laughs> Well, I got plenty of lead and chemicals on the Rossi. It's easy to make more. Shit, I could be rich here. <laughs> Protective auntie. Gonna follow him. What are they doing? But your girlfriend here knows something about a customs agent getting beat to death down by the docks this morning. No, Shit. not a thing. Weird. Shut the door. She's behind us. I'm gonna finish this up. The clock. Baby, your aunt is becoming a problem. Look, I have no idea. She was trying to fight her. Oh, fuck yeah. this. Lit. Yeah, punch her. Hi, kid. Like, it's gonna get wild. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh crap. Dude, that was all sticky. Shit. Was she missed the fight, can you tell? Gosh. The next time it won't be a next time. Dang, I want her as an orange. Back on series. Fuck. You get this God. water theft. <laughs> it's always a big problem. No right? cop stories. Hey. He's got a moral. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Might be important. We get these mushrooms growing down there. Just, see, it's yeah, I remember that. It's clogging up the works. Oh, the growing oh, stuff. These people built stuff that lasts for billions of years and it can't handle a few roots. <laughs> Fair they question. Any roots here, and they built this oh, stuff. Oh, that's true. Jim. I don't know what that ghost is telling It was before you, the last time you stuck your hand in something for Miller, it put you in a coma. Whatever lived there before, and this just point. adapted and came after. One voice in his head. Well, that would be swell. What does that mean? 100,000 people died on arrows. He has all that in his head? Try carrying that around in your skull. Old woman humming her wedding song. Damn, that's pretty Little intense. Kid having a nightmare. I'm sorry. Yeah. Amos, I miss you, man. Fuck. Okay. I'm gonna fight. Yeah, for Erta. They ain't over yet. Now that was a threat. Shit, man, what the hell is your problem? Like, 
I feel like Amos had had a weird look when he looked at him. So I'm like, he knows he's dangerous, probably. And unhinged. Cool. That did something. Jim. Is it closing in? happening. So Miller has no control over this. God damn it! He's gonna be like, leave me. Or it's gonna be last second. That's getting tight already. I'm worried about his legs. We're good. We are good. Okay. It's good you weren't there, Nomi, because you couldn't have climbed that fast. But it killed you. Can I turn blue or something? Dang. What the fuck was that? Lightning? Damn. What is happening? What in the hell did you do? No idea. No idea. <laughs> Miller just told me to do it, so. Guys, that was intense. I like how, you know, Holden still trusts what Miller's doing and they're still helping him figure out, you know, what happened to this civilization. Um, almost got him killed with no help from Miller, but he seems, we saw clips of him struggling, like, to, in the beginning of this episode and then now, like, in the middle, where he's listening to so many voices and he's like, I'm trying, you know. He's like the one voice that only Holden can hear, so, like, they're all, I think, pushing him, and he's trying to figure it all out. Um, so, so I guess it is hard for him to keep himself there, especially since he doesn't even have a body, physical form that you know he can use. Naomi's not doing well. I'm worried about her heart. I'm worried there's gonna be like a where, with what happened in this episode when Holden had to escape. What if there's a situation where they need to do a quick escape? Anything that speeds up Naomi's heart rate is gonna like be dangerous for her. So I'm worried about that. Uh, I don't like that, you know, inner dude who just shot that guy. I just didn't like his attitude from the start, like, threatening these people when it could maybe be the action of just one or two people that happened to your friends, and I get you want justice for that, but threatening to kill them all is stupid. They helped you, and they have helped any survivors, and they're just trying to make a living here, so you just can't threaten all of them like that. Like, you're so entitled, man. Anyways, um, I feel like that's Amos's story because he's staying here in the town. He's he's had a, his eyes on him, and he, like, he knows that the kind of person he is. I think that's the look we had briefly before. So I wonder what he's gonna do about it. I also like how Alex is more involved with like adventures and trips and stuff like that. Like, for a lot of times last season, he did go like a couple times, but most of the time he was with a Rossi, speaking to the Rossi. Like, I think he was pretty lonely. He's been pretty lonely actually, and. I did think he was trying to connect with someone here in this episode, but, you know, she's married already and he backed off right away, so... I don't know, I think he's looking for something more. Which would be cool, honestly, for his character. I guess, I mean, there's room on the Rossi for more people. I was hoping Bobby would join, but... Honestly, seeing her by uh, Christian's side again would be freaking awesome. I liked seeing them meet and Christian just has so much goddamn respect for her and they just respect each other. So offering her a job, I know how why Bobby took it the way she did, but I'm like, Christian just wants you around, because I think she she misses her. I think she enjoyed Bobby's company and all the, the shit they've been through together to survive. Bobby saved her life, you know? So I think they just want to be around someone who understands them and what they've been through. And there's not many people you can trust nowadays, and I feel like Christian and Bobby, they're such a good duo. <laughs> Um, so I, I wish to see more of them. Bobby was fucking badass now, like, protecting her, her and her nephew. Um, but that might lead her into more trouble, because the, there's some gang who are making these pills, um, so they won't stop there, I think, if they, especially if they snap someone's neck. So she's gonna have to deal with that. Maybe after that she'd get out of Dodge and maybe join Christian, because, like, it doesn't seem like there's much left for her. She's not a Marine anymore and they don't respect her anymore because of what happened. 
which, yeah, she, she uh, betrayed orders, but if you were in the ring, like, um, Ashford's actions would have gotten them all killed. And what Bobby did, it betrayed her people, but it saved so many lives. I think only people like Christian and, you know, Holden's crew and them, they understand the decisions she had to make, so I feel like you gotta be around them, otherwise you're never gonna be accepted and people are never gonna understand. That's like what we got last episode when people were like, so how was it there? Can't really explain it. You just ha had to have been there. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked my reaction to this episode. I'm really enjoying it so far. No idea what's really going on with whatever this thing on this new planet is, but it's been activated now and, and it's shooting lightning everywhere, which was pretty scary. Uh, <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.